Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm doing some kind of fun things, kind of weird things. I gotta clean up because I am currently filming a tutorial for you guys with some of my new Glitter Bells acrylics. And I'm just letting the clear glass slippers dry and then I'll be doing my finished filing off camera and then I'm gonna pop on with the end result. So you guys will have previously seen that. It would be the video before this one. And it's all purples and it's gonna be really pretty so you have to check it out. I need to water my plants. They're looking a little glum. They probably, here I'll show you. They probably could have been watered before I left for the weekend but my orchid's doing really well. My ivy is doing amazingly well and I actually don't know what to do with it. So any tips, pop them down below. It is growing new every week. Like every week, every, what are they, stock? <laughs> gets longer by one to two inches, no word of a lie, it's growing like crazy. Every one of them has babies. This jade plant is getting ginormous compared to what it was. There's little babies on my umbrella. I don't know what that is. Orchid, ready to bloom. I don't know if the second stalk has come out on it yet, but I don't really want to grab it from back there. This guy needs just a little bit of help, but he is going great. My olive tree plant, whatever this is, is actually like, oh, sorry, doing well. And my spider plant is doing amazing. And if you guys are, don't pay no attention to that. And if you guys are interested, like this aloe vera plant is massive and it just keeps getting bigger all the time. It needs dusted, but it needs a good water too, so. Hey, this is me on a Monday. Um, I'm gonna continue on with the tutorial. Like I said, it'll be in the video before this one. So you'll be able to go back on this and find it. And then I'm gonna clean up, probably take you with me with the cleanup because everything needs to be disinfected. My client's chair is the one I'm sitting in. I've got everything all rearranged and then my plexi, my armrest is all on the floor. It all needs to be disinfected. All of my tools over here, again, need to be disinfected. They were all disinfected before, but I didn't put them away, so now they're there. I have some fun things going on with my polish. You can see my Glitter Bells polish is kind of all weird right now, and the rest of it is all sitting there. But it's because I'm swatching them because they're hard to see and swatching is my least favorite thing in the world to do and i got halfway through it thought i would have it done for the new week going or the new week coming and i ran out of swatch sticks so that was the end of that they're coming from amazon today oh my phone's going off so uh, where are they so those are the ones that i finished so those are the ones that are swatches. You can see the swatches hanging there. And these, uh, wait a minute, am I confused? These ones are finished. Those ones are not yet finished, assuming I haven't messed them up. So anyway, and I do need to bring a bunch of stuff. I need more compressed air, I need garbage bags, uh, I need paper towel, I need to remember all these things. So yeah, I'm using my Red Iguana Hand and my Arcon Mount. I will have a discount code down below for the mount. This is what I use to film. Highly recommend if you are filming IGTV videos, like if you're doing kind of the overhead time-lapse videos or if you're filming um, YouTube videos, let me tell you, that mount is what you want. So I have an American discount code for their .com and I also have a Canadian discount code for Ecstasy Craft, which is one of their distributors here in Canada, simply because the tariffs and things are making it really hard to get them from the US. So I also need to make sure I go home and do all my confirmations for tomorrow and get out all my paperwork. I've been filing my paperwork, so I don't know if you guys are doing this wherever you are from, but we are getting everybody to sign a like COVID release form. I don't know what to call it. There's a lot of them, right? It's your whole clientele. So I have got them in an accordion file and I've got them in there by first name just because sometimes people's last names just won't come to you. It's rare, but it would happen to me. So I've got everybody in there by their first name and then when I know they're coming the next day, I dig them out the night before and they all sit like right on that stand and then I can just bring them out and I put them in the drawer when I'm done and at the end of the week I file them back into the accordion file so that's kind of what's working for me let me know what you guys are doing and also what I'm doing is instead of getting them to sign 
card me. So what I'm getting people to do instead of signing and that light's annoying, instead of signing and dating and everything, a whole new one, I get them to sign and date the back of the original form. They read through it and they're signing that everything that they have said previously is true, like, you know, as per last time. So, um, so far it's going pretty well. I haven't been like forgetting anybody's or anything like that. I think I forgot one and I messaged her afterwards and like, as per, I just signed your name to that. Like I just kind of signed it and, or I think I signed my name too. Anyway, I signed it and like made it known that it was my name there instead of hers, but that she agreed to it. So I have the message if I need it, but it's been more than a couple weeks ago, so I'm sure I won't need it. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. That's all I know right now. So in a minute, we will start the cleanup. Hey, welcome back. Okay, I do want to talk a little bit about how I get my red iguana hand ready to take the photos and while I'm doing the videos because I'm simultaneously filming this tutorial video. We'll get to the cleaning in a bit. I thought that would be the next thing I'm doing, but surprise. I have done the nails. They have been filed. So I've just put them back because when I file down at the cuticle, oftentimes I take the nail right out because it makes it easier to file smooth up here if I have quite a dip there. So I put the nails back in just to check everything out to make sure everything looks really good. And then, as you can see, there is a lot of dust on the hand. There is a little bit of like glitter or something right there. Not looking real great. So really not optimal for pictures. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna take these nails out. They haven't been cleaned, they've just been filed. So I'm gonna take them out and just lay them down on my backdrop. And I'm gonna take the hand, I'm gonna take the ring off, and I'm going to wash the hand and dry it really well. When I wash the hand, I am gonna be careful to hold it down so that the water is not going up into the cuticle wells here. Okay, so the hand is washed and dried, so back to its pristine state. Now I am going to put it back on the mount, put the nails back in, cleanse the nails, make sure that they look exactly how I want them to look. Some of them I may have to finish file a little bit more. And then I am going to finish off the tutorial video and then start taking pictures of the hand. I think I'm gonna bring you along, taking the pictures of the hand, and then we'll do the cleanup after. So the jewelry is back on the hand, the nails are back in place. I'm fairly certain that I'm happy with the finish filing. I am going to wipe them first and just make sure. So I'm going to just loosely pull these back out so that when I wipe, I'm actually wiping up in as well because I want to make sure I get absolutely all of the dust. So I hadn't wiped these yet at all, so this is kind of my first time seeing their true, their true form. So I'm going to put these back up in. Make sure the cuticle line looks good. It does. So now I'm going to jump back to filming the tutorial and give these guys another wipe and then a top coat. And then I'll bring you back for the picture part. really got some good footage for you guys. <laughs> this is this is how a hand photo shoot ends, okay? I'm sitting on the floor. There's things everywhere. There's lights everywhere. There's cameras everywhere because I'm filming the filming. 
we'll see how that works out in editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's finally get to the cleaning. I've been promising it to you guys and I haven't delivered yet, so let's do it. Let's finally get to the cleaning. I've been promising you guys. Blah, blah, blah.